Good morning. Welcome back to the Classic Hotel. Oh, how can I convince you to buy this walkie-talkie? <laughs> you still insist. Ah, uh, you know, one of my employees located a new guy in India who owns an original one from 2001. And as usual, you couldn't convince him to sell it. That idiot. I gave him and his family a free trip here. Hosted him for a week in my private palace. And my employees arranged a fully paid, a high quality tourist program. In the end, I offered him an amount that no one could refuse. Even though his device didn't work well, nevertheless, he refused. And that bastard was kept dragging in front of me by using it. These things, they can't be bought with money. Then what? What does that mean? No answer, huh? When you know, tell me. I gotta go. Uh, yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> you know, Every time I see this, it's more beautiful than I have remembered. See you later. Still there? Is the rich junkie geek gone? Yeah, he's gone now. And now I've got to go to the owner's room. As I was saying, control yourself. There is no need for all this tension. I'm telling you, she's very sad. You didn't see her. Impossible! It's a machine! Robot! I've seen her hundreds of times! You started to imagine things that aren't there. Where did you go? Are you still with me? I'll talk to you again when I get out. Well, don't say anything, Grab. Crazy woman. <laughs> yes, definitely. That was a nice <laughs> one, yes. <laughs> You're having a good time, I see. You, know, you young people worry about the most irrelevant things. <laughs> uh, by the way, you look very beautiful today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, why don't you come and join us if you have time? I will introduce you to this nice, young, handsome man. I'm honoured. Is this your first time visiting the Classic Hotel? Yes. I had no idea about this period of time, but it seems from what I've seen so far, it was a really beautiful period. It was. Yes, yes, yes. According to what the history books say, it was. I'm here to visit the doctor. Um, I was very surprised when I heard that there is a permanent clinic in this hotel. I hope you're not in a serious condition. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a consultation, nothing more. Thank you. No problem. This clinic has been open for more than 15 years. Yes, almost, yes. And if this doctor hadn't approved himself, the owner would have closed it a long time ago. Don't worry, you're in good hands. Of course, look at my physique. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to go and uh, see the owner. Sure, you take care. Okay. See you later. See you later. Take care. You're a magician, Tracer. Where did you find it? This time, in the fridge. <laughs> Looks like I got too much drunk last night. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would do without you. Is there anything else I can help you with? 
I have to get back to my work. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. I'm telling you, she's very sad you didn't see her. This place is, is beautiful. Oh yes, it is. And everything is in the classic style. We haven't changed anything since 2014. Look at this place. Fascinating. I noticed it as soon as I walked there. Are we allowed to touch it? Uh, who owns the key to the chest? You know, this blade belongs to Teresa. And she is the only one who has the key for it. Why is it here then? The blade belongs to one of her ancestors who used it in World War II. And it's presented here only for display. Since this blade is classic, it fits in perfectly. Don't be afraid. She is a nice girl. But sometimes she can be weird. You know, she's one of those who demands the rights for the robots. She is one of those, you know, who has some ideas in her head when it comes for them. Like what? You know, their feelings, their emotions. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but she has some good ideas about it. I, I totally understand you. I've met some of them myself. Anyway, um, I don't know exactly what war were you talking about, but I'm sure it's old. Is it from the year 2000? <laughs> 2000? It's from the 20th or the 40th centuries, my friend. What's up with her? You know, every time when she comes out of the owner's room, I see her more and more upset. I think she will explore someday. Why is that then? It's about the owner and the new robot girl. Huh? It's a long story. I will tell you about it later, but I need to calm her down now. Teresa, Teresa, do you have time, my dear? Do you want to laugh? That's exactly what I want right now. Our friend here thinks the World War II happened in the year 2000. <laughs> this lady is special. It really is special. This blade belongs to my ancestors. What distinguishes it is a story that was passed down through the generations. A story? Yes. In one of the battles, the battalion in which my grandfather fought in won and occupied the city. Later that evening, my grandfather heard the screaming of a woman coming from one of the houses, so he ran after the sound. My grandfather saw his best friend trying to rape a girl in that house. He tried to convince his friend that the civilians had nothing to do with the soldiers and that it wasn't this woman's fault that the soldiers had committed this terrible crime, but my grandfather's friend was like the animal who was driven by his lust. And he fought with my grandfather when he tried to stand in between him and the girl. And my grandfather, he ended up killing his best friend with that blade, even though she was the enemy. My grandfather ended up being executed for his crimes, but he got his appreciation when the war completely ended. Wow. This blade is a symbol of ridding the weak of the might of the strong. And it will only be used for that purpose. 
Teresa, could you quickly come to the kitchen? Excuse me. I have to go now. one of the downsides of the classic era. Go away, piece of shit. It wasn't for you. You bring me the bills that I need to sign right now. Oh, no, 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 wait. I, I can give the bills to... Good evening. Good evening, Teresa. Good evening. Teresa. You're looking great today. Thank you. You do too. Go away. Thank you, Teresa. I the bills. I have to fix it again. I have to go now. When will this end? And what? This torture. You beat her daily and then act like it doesn't matter. This is the eternal torment and it's very difficult to watch. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you today? Can't you see how sad and miserable she is? Doesn't it make you feel bad or even pitiful? Sad. Come here. Does she look sad? She's happy. Aren't you happy? I'm happy. Why shouldn't I be? Ha ha. Go away. Thank you. Are you kidding me? It's a machine. It's also a part of anger management treatment that has been recommended from my doctor. You are savage. Teresa. I pretend that I didn't hear anything. And don't stick your nose in my business. You understand? If you were not good at work, you would have been fired already. Go back to work. I don't even know if what I'm going to say makes any sense. But I really hope you find a way to get rid of him. I really hope you find a way out of it. Life. It's beautiful out there. Teresa, thank God I found you at this moment. I'm in a hurry, I gotta go. Was everything all right? Perfectly fine. Spot on. Have a good day. I talked about the uh, question that you couldn't answer. Remember? And did you find an answer to that question? Perhaps. I thought it would be much more nicer to see these antiques in use. Rather than just displaying in a museum. I really enjoyed using them in your hotel. Much more than just staring at them in my shelf where I displayed a classic collection. You were doing a great job. That seems to me an appropriate answer to that question. <laughs> nice blade, by the way. Teresa, the owner won't open the door. I'm afraid he will get angry like yesterday. Don't worry, he's too busy taking all his anger out on that poor robot girl. Try not harder. I don't think so. 
The place is too quiet. No one moving inside. Wait, nobody's moving inside the room. One sec, I'll be I'll be right back. It's impossible we slept together. <laughs> It's ringing. Just don't worry, I'll take care of it. Hello, Teresa. Hello? There is something missing in the hall. Teresa! Not now, please, okay? I'll be back later. Yeah, but it's something missing in the hall. Teresa! Damn you both, my talent is wasted in this certain place. I can't believe that. Really? 